Hello, welcome back. In this new section, we are going to talk about some really useful standard C library functions. We'll start with sprintf in this particular tutorial. sprintf can be used to write a formatted string into a character array. Let me go ahead and show you using an example how sprintf works. Say we have a variable integer variable var1 and I initialize this with 10 and we have another one double var2 and let me initialize this with 2.25. Now, if I want to write these var1 and var2 into console, I would use printf. And we know how the printf works. Now, this particular printf function is going to print the content of var1 and var2 using this formatted string, right? The var1 is going to be substituted here at the place of percent %d. And this var2 is going to be substituted here at the place of percent %lf. And this whole string, entire string, after the substitution will be printed into the console. Now, instead of printing into the console, if we want that string to be written into a character array, then we can use sprintf. Let me declare a character array there, say buff underscore string. And let's go ahead and have some size there for this character array. Now, if I want this formatted string to be written into that character array buff underscore string, then we can use sprintf and we need to pass the character array where we want to write this formatted string as the first parameter and then the second parameter is the formatted string and then we need to pass the variables as we do in case of printf. So everything just remains same just like the printf except that first parameter where we are going to write this formatted string after the substitution of those parameters that we are passing here. Now let's go ahead and print the content of buff underscore string. Then everything is going to be clear. Now if I just print that content of buff underscore string, we are going to get the formatted string after substituting this var1 and var2 here and here. So let's go ahead and run this. So you can see that value of var1 is 10 equals 10 and var2 equals 2.25. So this entire string after substitution is actually written here in this buff underscore string. And also sprintf takes care of appending the null character at the end. We just don't need to worry about the null append. Now the return type of sprintf is integer. It's same as printf. It returns the total number of characters that is written into the buff underscore string. So if you have a variable count there to catch the return value, then you can just get the total number of characters printed into the that variable count. So I'll print the content of count here and see how many characters are there in the buff underscore string. So it's actually 39. Okay, now that 39 does not include the null character at the end of the string. It is excluding the null character. Let me go ahead and add something more with that formatted string. I'll declare another character array and I'll initialize that with a simple message. Say, this is fun. And I want to append that with the formatted data. So at the end of the formatted string, I'll just have another format specifier for string, that's percent %s. And we will have that variable str, that character array str as the last parameter. Now that str is going to be substituted here. So this content, comma, space, this is fun, is going to be appended here at this place. So this buff string is going to contain this at the end. Okay, let me go ahead and run this. So you can see that this is fun is appended there and this time the total number of characters are actually 53. Well, so we have understood the sprintf clearly by now. Let's go ahead and understand a variation of sprintf that is snprintf. Now in case of sprintf, if we use this for writing a formatted string into the character array, then it never checks the overflow characters. In this example, as you can see, we have this buff underscore string with 20 characters, right? So that means it can accommodate at most 19 characters plus a null. So it cannot accommodate more than 19 characters. Now, you see that using this sprintf here, we are actually writing this formatted string into this buff underscore string, which is having at most 19 characters provision.
but this formatted string is having a much larger character data so it's more than 19 characters so will this sprintf be able to write that formatted data successfully to the buff underscore string ignoring the uh, overflow characters no it's not going to be like that this kind of programming is actually unsafe unpredictable this kind of program may crash let's go ahead and see how this program works i'll run this you see that the program crashed and it is saying that it has stopped working so this is unsafe kind of program so in order to make your program safe instead of sprintf you can use snprintf if there is a chance of buffer overflow in your program say you have this 20 character string and you want to write the formatted data into that 20 character string and if there is an overflow you want to ignore all those overflow character so you can use snprintf for all those cases and you need to mention the maximum size on the maximum number of characters that your buffer can accommodate so for our case it's going to be 19 right so this time we are using snprintf rest of the parameters are just same the first one is the target buffer where you are going to write the string the second one is the maximum number of characters that this target buffer can contain so this snprintf is going to ignore all the characters if that goes beyond 19 characters so these things are just same as the scanf or the scanf so let's go ahead and run this program and see how this works so you see that this time it's actually copying or writing only the first 19 characters and the rest of the characters are ignored and the program is safe this time it's not crashing so that is how you can use the snprintf to have a safe writing into a buffer string so that is all for this tutorial we have understood how sprintf works now in the next tutorial we are going to understand another useful function that is sscanf sscanf can be used for scanning formatted data from a string we'll look into that in the next tutorial thank you for watching this